So incoming, I just now found out that um, uh, there will be U.S. just pulled out of funding Israel and Ukraine, which means that Russia is getting ready to get a massive Christmas surprise. Um, and the reason why this is a big deal is because we know that Israel is God's time clock. I just wanted to show you all my beauty. Um, and it's 60 degrees outside and it's December 7th and then we got cold weather coming through. This is the type of stuff I'm talking about. And uh, so anyways, um, crap's really, really about to hit the fan. And uh, Jesus is about to return. There ain't no doubt in my mind. Um, so um, that's all I wanted to tell you guys. So I'll see you there in the air. God bless. Okay. So, today is December 7th. I'm coming on here today because I want to read to you just a little bit of what I have been shown. Um, in 1 Thessalonians 5.3 it says, For when they shall say peace and security, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And there's a semicolon, and they shall not escape. Okay, and it says, Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. So this agenda, 2030, COP28 meeting, um, ends the 12th. Okay, and sudden destruction, because I believe 100% this is in the seven-year peace agreement because this is something that is going to be confirmed, okay? This is also something that has peace and security in it. And um, this is also a worldwide, all the leaders around the whole entire globe are coming together. It's not just a few leaders, it's not just a few countries, it's every single one of them. And the fact that the woman in travail you know, we know is the beginning of sorrows where she, the woman is in labor getting ready to give birth, okay? And verse 6 is, says, let us not all sleep. In other words, don't fall asleep and go back to the world into thinking that this isn't going to happen, that this is not the peace agreement, okay? And many are like, oh, well, the Antichrist has to be here to sign it, okay? I'm going to tell you, in Daniel, or and, and then in verse 9, it says, But God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. We're not appointed to wrath. Revelation 3.10 specifically tells us that too. Daniel 9.27 says, And he, he shall confirm the covenant. It didn't say a covenant. It said the covenant. What is the covenant? And to confirm means to prevail to strengthen something that's already been out and that would be the COP 28 okay and it's with many or a large quantity of people great and mighty for one which represents united for seven years and in the midst of the week he shall cause a sacrifice and oblation or the gift to cease for the overspreading of abominations he shall make desolate even who even unto the consummation or the destruction and the ending and that determined shall be poured upon desolate okay so this cop 28 is to be united to unite all kingdoms as one one world religion one world government um uh, one world religion one world government one world economy um money okay um, and this is what all this meeting is about, okay? And this is going to confirm it. The Antichrist is here, okay? And I'm going to continue reading so I can uh, explain this, okay? Um, in Mark 13, 12 through 13, it says, Now the brother shall betray brother to death, and the father the son. And children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. Remember the last few videos I, I put as Pope Francis was using the innocence of the children? Well, children are going to be betraying their parents unto death. And you have to understand that now 
what they have, which I'm attaching the video to this, is they are, Biden's coming after the children, um, the LGBTQ community, okay? And what's going to happen is the children have a say-so. They're going to be able to turn on their parents. The parents are going to get their children taken away. If you are a Christian, you're not going to be able to adopt children, um, and so on and so forth, okay? This is what this is talking about, okay? And we've already seen many children rising up and killing their parents on the news and things like that but i believe this is in more depth that deals with the gender um and those you know who want to try and comply to this new world and this agenda is that's coming and the parents are coming against it i believe the parent the children are going to turn around and be able to have their own say so um so anyways, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. And we have already been seeing that, that the world hates Christians, obviously. They're trying to bring in Islam as the one world religion. Okay, um, and, but he that shall endure, or though who that tarry behind until the end, the same shall be saved. Okay, and this is not talking about us. This is literally talking about this other part, those who are left behind in the Great Tribulation. Okay, because there's still going to be subchildren that is here on the earth. Okay, because of age of accountability. Okay, in Mark 13, 14, it says, But when ye shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, I want you to listen to this, standing where it ought not let him that readeth understand then let them that be in judea flee to the mountains this is talking about the third temple because that is the it this isn't talking about a person and people are saying oh well this is the antichrist that's standing up causing the abomination of desolation to cease it is but it this is in more depth this is physically talking about an it that is standing in a place where it ought not be Okay, and that is the third temple. That is why the Antichrist is going to be able to cut down this seven year covenant of the United World Front and this false peace and security that Israel's going to be having. Okay, to stop these wars in Gaza and, and all these wars that's going around. Okay, in the midst of this, then they're going to flee into the mountain away from the grip of Satan, from him, you know doing what he's got to do and but what i find very interesting and no i've not watched anybody's videos um i've been working so much i've been doing my own research on december 13th and 14th we have the gemini uh geminid meteor shower which is in the east guys and it says 120 to 150 meteors per hour could be seen I believe that since this is the day after December 12th from this covenant meeting that this is where the sudden destruction is going to come and they're not going to escape because this is set in stone. No, they're, no matter how much regret that they've done, they are going to have sudden destruction upon them. Okay, and in Revelation 4, it says, And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Okay, this is going to be the casting down of Satan officially. All right, and there's going to be a time period between the rapture and the woman leaving, and he's going to get mad and turn around, right? Um, cause he can't get the woman and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up to God and to his throne. Okay. So it'd be the meteor shower, the rapture, and then after the peace broken as the antichrist, you know, comes after the woman because God protects his people. And then he's going to allow the destruction to happen upon his people where they're going to cry out at, um, the end so Jesus is still coming he's not slumber he's not slack um, he's um, right on time and Hanukkah begins tonight tomorrow and um, Hanukkah means festival of lights and it's also when Yeshua was conceived so there's a lot of major pro prophetic events that's um, leading up I do not see us here you know 
for six months. I don't see us here into next year. It is going to be total mass chaos. And I believe that the times that's going to happen, it's going to happen now. Um, be watching and waiting. We're in high time once again. So I will see you guys there in the air. God bless. Offsite news. Joe Biden wants to ban Christian families from adopting children in foster care. Family, I told you this one is wild. Let's get into this. So U.S. President Joe Biden wants to effectively ban Christians from adopting children in the foster care system. So Biden wants to essentially ban Christians from adopting foster care children based on their religious beliefs and opposition to the radical alphabet community ideology. The United States Department of Health and Human Services has proposed a new rule that would prohibit families who do not support the alphabet community from caring for foster children. Family, this right here is absolutely insane, and there's no way to spin it. This is absolutely wrong. Now, according to the Social Security Act, federally funded foster care agencies must provide safe and proper care for foster children. And the United States Administration for Children and Families, ACF, a division within HHS, proposed that foster families meet three specific criteria to ensure that the alphabet community identifying children are in a safe and nurturing home. Now, family, check this out. That criteria forces Christian parents to affirm to a child's pretend gender, as opposed to supporting children truthfully based on their biological sex and providing them appropriate support and resources to move away from the radical leftist ideology that pushes hormones, changes in gender, and mutation of children to conform to its extreme agenda. Now, family, I said this before on this channel, here in these end times, we're seeing the enemy target the children of the world like never before.